All right, this morning I'm gonna do a quick little walkthrough on how to install WordPress at the root level of uh, IX web hosting, if that's your server. Um, so that way, if we went to www.mysite.com, it would automatically hit on the WordPress site instead of having to uh, go to your site and then direct into uh, WordPress, which is how the one-click install typically works on IX web hosting. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into my account. I'm going to click on manage my hosting. Then I'm going to click on manage again. Now here, we're going to want to go down to the databases section. And I'm going to click on MySQL server. And here I'm going to add another database. <clears throat> so right down here at the bottom, there's a little uh, area that says add. I'm going to click add. I'm going to copy this portion right here. <clears throat> I think it's character limited or something rather. I did one earlier today or earlier yesterday. And this one, I'm going to do number six. You want to make sure that it's not the, the same name as any other directory, otherwise it might get messed up. So you want a different identifier for each one. And then database description, I'm just gonna type in WordPress. And then I'm gonna go ahead and click on next. <clears throat> it's gonna ask me what my username is. And for demo purposes, I'm going to go Bob. Type in a user or type in a password that you can remember. I'm going to tell it that I want it to be able to read and write. <clears throat> and then I'm going to click add user. I'm saying that my password is too simplistic. All right, so I'm done in this screen. And now I have WordPress 6 down here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this. <clears throat> and here I wanna click on edit under database users. And you wanna make sure that all these checkboxes are checked. That allows WordPress to do any of the read write that it needs to do. So I'm going to click submit. And now I'm going to go to wordpress.org. And I'm going to download the latest, greatest version of WordPress. Now that that's been downloaded, I'm going to minimize this just for a moment. New Home Living today is going to be the website that I'm going to be installing this on. So all I've done right here is I just, I logged into my, uh, my IX web hosting account with uh, Cyberduck, and then I chose the domain that I had already set up. So I'm going to choose the domain that I'm wanting to do. I'm going to delete the index because I don't want that uh, that page because I want to replace this with with uh, 
WordPress. So now I've just opened this up out of my downloads. Maybe a little bit different on Windows, but it should be more or less the same steps. <clears throat> and then I'm going to select everything in the WordPress folder. And just drag that over into Cyberduck. And that's going to ask me if I want to continue because I'm writing stuff to my server. And the time that this will take to upload is going to be dependent upon. Right, we're just getting close to finishing up this upload. I'm going to go ahead and edit out uh, the time in between just so you don't have to sit through the upload process. And I still do have my IX web posting down here below because I have a little bit of information that I need to pull out of this when we actually do the, the configuration of WordPress. And boom, WordPress has been uploaded. So I can close this window because I don't need this. This shows me that that has been uploaded to IX Web Hosting. So I can go ahead and close that. And if I do a new window here, I go to New Home Living today, that's where I just installed uh, WordPress. It's gonna bring up this screen, asking me if I want to set up a configuration file, which we do, because we want to uh, be able to get in and do uh, WordPress on there. It's telling you what you're gonna need. You're gonna need database name, database username, database password, database host, and table prefix. If you wanna run more than one WordPress on a single database. I haven't actually played around with this, so I'm just going to go through the first four. Click on Let's Go. So the database name is going to be this WordPress 6. Now the, the first characters, like the little nits, uh, will be different on yours. It'll be however it's set up on your particular account. So don't be concerned if it doesn't say little nits. It might it will say most likely say something different in front of the WordPress. But that's what I'm putting in for the database name. For the username, that's the database user here. So I'm going to copy this Bob. Password, you'll enter your password. Database host is the host name up here at the top. And the table prefix, you can just leave that the DP underscore and then click submit. All right, now it's gonna say run the install. So click run install. Now this is where it's gonna be asking you some of your site information. So in this case, I'm gonna put new home living today. I'm gonna to type in my username and my password and the email that I want this to go to. So Let's 
type in your email address maybe and then click install WordPress It will say success and then click login and that's going to take you directly into uh, the login screen for WordPress so type in your username and your password that you uh, put in there Maybe. And boom, now you have uh, WordPress installed directly on the root. And just to show you that this is at the, the root level, if I go new home living today, well, I'm logged in, so it's going to show that I'm up here today, but it's going to show me this screen. Now, I want to add a new plugin. Since I'm not ready for this site to go live yet, Spell maintenance, right? That might help. <laughs> and I'm going to add a maintenance mode. I'm going to go ahead and click install now. Click OK. I'm going to click activate plugin. And then I'm going to click settings. I'm going to click Enable. And this is just a, a pretty basic one. They have a couple different themes here in this particular one. I kind of like this plain Jane one. And for right now, I'm just going to put this in all three and coming soon. I'm not going to upload a logo right at this particular time, but if you wanted to, you just click that. Uh, click select file. Yeah, sure, why not? Choose image. Save changes. Now if I do a new window and new home living today, it should have. Oh, I think it's because I'm logged in. Let me try a new browser. There we go. Coming soon. So now or when you're working on it and you're not ready to go live yet, uh, they don't see an incomplete site. They just see this coming soon page. <laughs>